What's up, everyone? Welcome back. All right, so this is going to be the final race of race day 2022. And, uh, yeah, going to be racing Brands Hatch for the first time in this game. Of course, this is a track I'm familiar with from playing GT Sport, so this is definitely not a new thing for me, but... Yeah, going to be trying out this car for the first time. It's one of the ones I got as a pre-order bonus. And I figure I'm not doing, like, one of the regular missions this time. I'm just, you know, going going around doing my own thing. But apparently, according... Or, apparently, from what it seems, uh, you have to do, um... Like, the different, uh, missions that they send you on through the cafe in order to unlock tracks, which... It's kind of a pain in the ass. That's why I like the system in that they had in GT Sport. It was very easy to unlock tracks. You just had to level up, you know, by doing races and shit. So it's very simple. So I have a feeling that this game is going to be a bit more of a pain in the ass to unlock shit in, which is a bit annoying because, like, you know, I, you know, I've never really been again like one of those completionists or whatever. It's just like you know, I'd rather just have all the tracks right off the bat, and I can just customize the races however I want and shit like that. But, um. Yeah, that's just my own personal preference. Because, again, I'm a casual gamer. Like, I just want to go to racetracks, just do races and have fun, and just call it a day. You know, I don't feel like going through a storyline necessarily in this particular game. But uh, I, I still think it's interesting, you know, the way they do it, you know, through the GT Cafe and shit. They send you on, like, different missions to collect cars and shit. I think it's interesting for sure. So, yeah, don't get me wrong. It's just, you know, the process itself is a bit of a pain in the, you know dick but it's whatever either way still excited to uh you know be doing this so yeah it'll be fun either way let's get this motherfucking show on the road for the last race of race day 2022 but yeah i really like what i'm seeing out of this game so far pretty fun shit so now i'm racing to like a fast car for the first time in this game so we'll see how this goes not off to a great start so far. I did adjust the camera a little bit. And it does seem a little bit better now, so that's good. Ooh. I did not mean to bump him that much. Whoops. Yeah, I wish there was a, like a more dedicated arcade mode where I could, you know, race against six cars because I like to race, you know, six cars. That way the field's a little more spread out. Plus, you know, like I said, I'm an old school GT player. You know, back in the day, they would have six car races. So that's why I always used to like to race with six cars. But it's predetermined, apparently, in this game, which is a little bit annoying. You know, that there's not more customization available. Hopefully, they'll update the game a bit more so that way, you know, I can just play this game a lot more casually with a bit of oversteer there. Yeah, I mean, this game will take a little more getting used to, you know. So like I said, I'm used to GT um, GT Sport, and I'm assuming this game is going to be a little different than GT Sport as far as handling and shit's concerned. Yeah, I wish I could go back to racing against just, you know, the normal six cars like I'm used to. Fuck, really? I slid off the edge there? This thing didn't break in time? That's kind of bullshit, but whatever. This thing's a fucking race car. It should have, you know, race car level brakes, but whatever. It's a little disappointing. But again, like I said, you know, I'm more used to GT Sports, so this game I'm assuming is going to be a little bit different, have its own quirks and shit that I'm going to have to get used to. Because no two racing games are ever exactly the same. Even in the same series. Yeah, again with the oversteer on that. Really? Yeah, 
Yeah, I have a feeling there's going to be some frustrating races at the beginning here until I really get used to this game. Yeah, I'm not liking that oversteer. All right. Well, either way, I still managed to win, so, you know, that's good. But yeah, I mean, the overall graphical presentation of this game is, I mean, obviously spectacular. No doubt there. So, I mean, yeah, I just wish these arcade races were a little bit more customizable, like they were in GT Sport. Because, again, I'm a 100% casual gamer. Like, I'll just do these, you know, these kind of, like, arcade races, like, all fucking day. Like, I don't really care about, like, storylines or shit like that. But, yeah, I just wish it was a little bit more customizable. So I could, you know, again, also do things like race against, you know, um, uh, like six cars like I'm used to. But they don't let you do that. Which is, again, a little bit annoying, but it is what it is. And I'm still doing okay, again, considering that this is my first time, you know, playing this game. Again, the more I play it, I feel like the more I'll get used to it. But yeah, I like what I'm seeing initially. A couple things I wish were a little bit different, but that's fine. Hopefully they'll make updates to this game and make these arcade races more customizable. So I, I can, you know, race how I want to race. Yeah, like that oversteer there, that was a little ridiculous. Didn't have anything like that in GT Sport. I'm gonna have to look into that a little bit. Either that or it's just something I'm gonna have to get used to. We'll see. But again, like I said, you know, I'll play around with this game a little bit more. You know, get more used to it. Uh, shit like that. Alright. But yeah, I mean, my initial impressions of this game, it's... Yeah. Fucking awesome. Awesome shit. So, very excited to, uh, you know, do more of this game for you guys at some point in the future. Hopefully in the not too distant future. And uh yeah, awesome shit. Awesome shit for sure. Alright, well guys, that is going to be it for race day 2022. Hope you guys enjoyed me showing off these few brand new racing games. Or not brand new, but you know, racing games I've never played before. So yeah, it's been awesome. Alright, well either way guys, that is going to be it for me for today. So as always everyone, stay cool and rock on. This is multi-step signing off.